Hot Screen. An award-winning video game franchise makes the jump to the big screen as Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg set out to find the treasure of a lifetime in the globetrotting adventure, Uncharted. Hey, I'm Mark Wahlberg. I play Victor Sullivan in the movie Uncharted. Here's a wonderful scene from Uncharted. Enjoy. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone. They're just lost. I was playing the fourth Uncharted game while shooting Spider-Man Homecoming. You know, and it was a lunch between Tom Rothman and I where the idea of me playing Nathan Drake kind of came about. I think it was probably five years later that we finally went into production. Is there everything in here? Why the map? This path of Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. He was like the little brother that I never had, and I don't know what it's like to have a little brother because I was always the youngest and I was always busy trying to compete with my brothers, and now I had this young guy who I was trying to like help and mentor and trying to compete with me. So it got a little weird at first, then I realized what an interesting dynamic for the film. The biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother, Sam? He's a real entrepreneur, you know, and he, he, he has his fingers in so many different pies and he's always working and I admire his work ethic, his, you know, his fitness is something as well. You know, when we were shooting this movie, we came to set for the first day of shooting and I realized how much smaller I was than him, you know, because he is massive. And then we shut down because of COVID for five months. So I went home and did nothing but eat and train and eat and train and eat and train. And when I came back, he did make a comment about how much size I'd put on, which I was very chuffed about. I didn't, I just, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not always the tallest guy in the room. So it was like uh, a nice change of pace. Well, I've had, you know, between him and Kevin Hart and other folks that I've worked with, but you know, he's in great shape and he's, he's tough and talented and all those things. So I think uh, he's gonna do just fine. I just give him crap to, to keep him grounded. If we find that gold, we find him too. Yes, one of those things where he was a bit naive and I was using him to achieve my objective, but then I realized that there was something special about him and they really earn each other's trust and respect and they become a great team. Who the hell is this? I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. I should know him one of them. Spider-Man is a fantastical character who can do things that you know, a human could never dream of doing. Uh, whereas Nathan Drake is a character that is obviously very grounded in reality. So rather than thinking about a stunt that will eventually be taken over into a CG world, we need to think about the beginning of the stunt, the middle of the stunt, and the end of the stunt. Could you move any slower? I got a bad ankle. He's just, he's just in a different place. So all the stunts and all the stuff he wants to do, take after take after take after take, I'm like, I'm not doing that again. Absolutely not. Go knock yourself out. I got a guy who looks just like me. Go ahead, have fun. My brother say I'm left one final clue. In the Spider-Man suit, when you're doing these stunts, you can pull the most grotesque faces because you're, you're going through huge amounts of stress to achieve some of these stunts. And with Uncharted, obviously, I don't have the luxury of hiding my face, so I had to sort of retrain myself to sort of look cool and heroic while doing things where I felt incredibly scared. Oh. This film was, was brutal to make from a physicality point of view, but you know, if you see the film, it really pays off. Oh crap! Yes, I To find out where to watch any movie, check out moviephone.com. Find it. Watch it.